What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw a bridge. And the type of bridge that I'm going to draw in this video is called a simple suspension bridge. So let's get started. So with my call erase pencil what I'm going to do on the page is make two pieces of land. So I'm going to just make a diagonal line on my page. That's one piece of land. And then the other part will be on the other side of the page. So it's going to be two lines parallel from one another. And now we're going to draw out the deck of the bridge. So let's pick a point on one of these lines, like right about here and here. And then here and here. So we got two points on each of these lines. Again, they're parallel. So what we're going to do is make like a parentheses curve to connect this point with this point and this point with this point to basically construct the bridge. But this part of the bridge is called the deck. So that's what we're gonna draw now. So again, parentheses shape to connect each dot together. Just like that. And then the bridge I'm drawing in this video is gonna be made of uh, several pieces of wood. So I'm gonna draw more parallel lines on this uh, bridge. So that way we can get that done and out of the way already. So right now I got five pieces of wood on the bridge. That's okay. If you have more space, add more pieces of wood. Feel free. But I'm just going to start at five for now. And now let's construct the towers of the bridge. So the towers will be on each part of the land. So let's begin to make a cylinder shape right where each of these dots are. But on the piece of land. So just a cylinder shape here where this one dot is. cylinder shape and that's also going to be made of wood so I'm just going to draw a few lines to help show that it's made of wood you can choose to do that later but for now I'm just going to do that and again on this other dot that's over here Draw a few lines indicating the material. And there we go. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. Of course, the way I drew it, you're probably not going to see the entire tower, but it's still best to include it there. Again, it's going to be a cylinder. Like that. And see, now it's already starting to look like a bridge. So, with my green pencil again, I'm going to mark another dot just before you get to the top of each of these cylinders. Um, I'm going to make a dot on this one. You probably can't see the top because I haven't fully drawn that yet, but we can still draw a dot there. Um, same with this one. It's going to be a little bit off the page, but we can kind of eyeball that. I'm going to draw a little X right here. Kind of eyeball that a little bit. And then a dot on this cylinder. Okay, and now that same curve we use to connect the bridge parts with each part of land, we're going to do the same thing to connect these dots together that we just made. And that's going to be the cables that kind of hold the bridge together. And that's going to be made of rope. Okay, and then while we still have the green pencil, we can give the bridge some dimension by adding another curve just like it underneath the bridge. And then on this curve, I'm just going to draw in some vertical lines that kind of connect back to the bottom of the bridge. But they'll actually stop at the wood, like right about here. You see where this is? It's going to go into the piece of wood and kind of make a support underneath it so that way the bridge is kind of held up. Okay, so I'm just going to make do with four of them. So yeah, the vertical lines will go through the wood like this. 
they can also make a crisscross pattern like if you were to look up a reference picture of a bridge like this then you would find the cables like this making a crisscross pattern you can do that as well but I don't want to overcomplicate things so let's do it on the other side too connect this curve to the wood poke a hole through it and this uh, cable does seem higher than this one because that does look fairly small but we did this with a green pencil so we can fix that and just erase the old line so that's what we have so far but now let's go to each part of land and make the anchors so the anchors will kind of hold these cables to the ground so we're going to start off at that dot that's close to the top and make a straight diagonal line that kind of goes to the land like this and then we're not going to see all of the anchors like on this side if you have room you can just uh draw that in to the land but obviously it's not going to be seen on this side so you just uh draw all the parts in that we're able to see and we should be good from there okay so now that all our guidelines are drawn let's go ahead and take my kneaded eraser and erase these lines ever so slightly only to a point where we can still see them you probably can't see all my lines on camera but I'm gonna try to redraw them so that way you can still see them a little bit yeah like that okay so now that our drawing is barely visible what I am gonna do is start off by drawing the cables and like I said the cables are gonna be made of rope so let's draw in a rope so I'm just gonna draw a straight line over here and that's gonna be connected to the ground that's gonna go through this tower Add a couple of stripy patterns onto the rope, make it look like a rope. Let's do the same thing over here. Stripy pattern like that. And then right here where these uh, vertical lines and this curved line intersect, we're going to draw a circle there and we're going to draw a knot as if they're tied together. So just a little knot. A quick way to draw a knot would be to make a flower with three petals. Just a quick way of doing it. And then take these straight lines and make them go through the wood. like that and then the rest of the cable we can draw in again having that stripey pattern to make it look like a rope and then the anchor we're not going to see much of but I'm going to try to get some of it in up here it's on the other side on, on the ground and that's one part of the bridge so let's go ahead and draw the other side all right so now that the cables are drawn we can now fully draw in each tower again 
and instead of making it rounded at the bottom, what I'm going to do is erase that a little bit. And I'm going to make it so it looks as if it's placed inside of the ground. So I'm going to draw in a few blades of grass on not just this cylinder, but to all of them too. But um, I'm going to focus on this one real quick. But um, yeah, the bridge is going to be like um, inside of a jungle, sort of, because that's what this kind of looks like. And then I'm just going to fully draw in the tower. Again, that's wood. And let's do the same thing for this other tower. Blades of grass here and there. And then just fully draw in the rest of it. Give it some wood texture. that and then the same thing up here with these guys Let me erase this one too all right so all the towers are drawn and all we got left to do is draw in the deck in this case it's the wood so all we got to do is draw in each piece of wood, but I'm going to space them out just a little bit so that way it looks a little realistic in a way. So that way it looks more like a bridge. So just follow our lines that we made from the beginning. Some dimension on the side. That's one piece of wood. And like I said, I drew five from the beginning. So make another parallel line like this. To space it out and then the rest is easy all right now the wood is all drawn and this line does seem a little bit off so I'm gonna just reposition that really quickly place it closer to the middle of this piece of wood and same with this one so like erase it fix it up make it go to the middle and just uh, more of these lines need fixing so I'm gonna just do that really quickly Okay, so after done fixing that up, what we can do is add some texture to each piece of wood. Using my pencil, just a couple lines here and there. They don't have to be parallel, like all of these lines pretty much, but yeah, just add in some textures, however you're going to do it. You can quite possibly put a hole in the bridge, make it look uh, very old in a way. I mean, it kind of already does because it's made of wood. But yeah, just add in some lines, add some texture to it. You can also break apart the pieces of wood on the edges to make it look old and broken up. And then don't forget on the sides. And there we go now we're not actually done yet what I am gonna do is draw in some blades of grass on these parallel lines that we drew from the beginning the very beginning because like I said this um, bridge kind of takes place in like a jungle or a rainforest so you want to kind of give it that kind of setting so just add a couple blades of grass on these parallel lines do the same thing on this side really scribble that in like I'm doing and we're still not done yet what is this bridge over top of is it over a river is it over a ditch is it over a gorge you want to kind of show that so we got to finish this setting so I'm gonna make this bridge over top of a river so I'm just gonna draw in some vertical lines like this And 
and then using the same parallel line that we made from the very beginning, we can draw in a river. Just a piece of rushing water down here. And just erase the lines that are down here. Erase some more lines that go close to the river if you don't want them there. You can add some texture to the cliff if you want. I'm going to add a little bit of shading on each um, line that I drew. Just to me that actually looks good. And then I'm going to add a deep dark shadow underneath the bridge because typically there's a lot of shadows underneath there. So I'm going to press hard on this pencil. And just add some deep dark shadows down here. All right, and then we can just add a couple more blades of grass on each part of the land. Erase any guidelines that you don't want shown. And there we go. We got us a bridge. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat Kate.